Hi! Last time we talked about shooting, we left out one particular part on purpose. What do you do when you are a target? How do you survive if you are being tailed? What do you do when attacked head on? How do you break off from a pursuit, evade a hit, and ultimately, how to turn the tables around and take out your attacker? In this tutorial, we will talk about evasive maneuvers and aerobatics. The first thing you need to know, each aircraft is different, so is their arsenal of air stunts they can perform. Max speed, turn radius, stall speed, and many other factors can influence which moves you can do. Never try and engage in tight dogfighting on a German Focke-Wulf or perform a boom and zoom on a Japanese Zero. So before you venture out into battle with your new aircraft, you best take it out for a test flight. The second thing to remember, even if you are natural at aerobatics, you still need to keep a close eye on your surrounding vicinity. If you do not constantly monitor what's around you and your radar, you will never have time needed to perform a defensive maneuver, regardless of how good you are with a flight stick. Finally, if you want to truly succeed in tricky business of aerobatics, you must learn the basics of pitching and flight dynamics. Most players use the game's default control scheme. For those of you who wish to get better than average player, we offer these slight changes to your control scheme. Instead of default page down and page up keys, set up control and shift as your positive and negative pitching, respectively. You will use these keys with your left hand. Now, let's jump into the fray. One of the most popular types of attack in the arcade mode battle is a head-on attack. Some players also use it in the realistic mode as well. Okay, we have an enemy aircraft heading directly at us. That plane is heavily armed too, he's got 20mm cannons. While cannons on our aircraft are built into the wings and are converged at the standard 400 to 600 meters, we are at a disadvantage here, but we're no cowards, right? Our first step is to shoot him down and then evade his shots. To do telling damage on him, we need to hit him with at least one sizable burst. You need to slightly tilt your fuselage so that aircraft goes into a slight slip. At the same time, we need to hold our sights just around this plane. We open fire from about a kilometer away. A whole second burst should suffice. Then we quickly evade his attack and perform a canopy roll. We'll talk about it in detail later. Enjoy the results! Obviously, if your aircraft is outgunned, then we strongly recommend you avoid such direct confrontation. Now, let's talk specifically about aerobatics. You have to understand that not all maneuvers are performed the same way in arcade and realistic modes. Now, let's take a closer look at the most common maneuvers. Barrel roll and canopy roll. Barrel roll is one of the most common and easy to perform air maneuvers. The aircraft is rotated 360 degrees around its horizontal axis. In order to do this, simply hold one of the roll keys until the plane is fully rotated. On its own though, the barrel roll is a weak defensive maneuver. You will be much better off pulling a modified version of a barrel roll called canopy roll. This is one of the most effective ways of shaking off a pursuer from your six. If you see an enemy tailing you, cut your thrust to 45% and then hold one of the roll keys, A or D, and positive pitch, control key. To make the maneuver faster, you can press and hold the yaw key in direction of your roll, for example, control plus D plus E, just like that. In order to make your opponent overshoot, always try and break your trajectory in a way so that his course does not intersect your fuselage. Press and hold your pitch key, then correct your course via roll and yaw keys. The opponent will have a hard time hitting you and will most likely attempt to close in with you, often overshooting you. After that, you can max out your thrust once again and shoot him down with return fire. Inside loop or Nastrov loop. The inside loop is performed by pressing and holding the positive pitch key to draw a full vertical loop in the air. In order to safely perform this maneuver, make sure you have speed of at least 350 km per hour. This is an easy to do and a quite effective defensive and offensive move, depending on the situation and application. If your opponent is approaching from behind and is below you at a moderate speed, while you have higher speed, then you can quickly become a predator, not prey. Do you remember though, if your opponent is tied on your 6 and has the same speed and altitude as you, then the loop could be the end of you. The pursuer will easily lift the nose of his aircraft and will put many new holes into your fuselage and wings. Immelman turn is normally an offensive maneuver. It starts as a loop, then at the highest point of which you do a half barrel roll, returning your plane back into a horizontal flight. This is a good move if you want to attack enemy head on. 
Before you begin this move, cut your thrust to 70%, then raise your aircraft nose by 70 to 90 degrees, at which point you max out your thrust. This is the optimal way of performing this maneuver. Split is basically the same as Immelman turn, but its basic stages are performed in a different order. You first do a barrel roll to put your plane belly up, then, using a positive pitch, the control key, you do a half loop downwards. You can use this move to effectively dodge a boom and zoom attack or any other attack coming from your rear top side. Keep in mind that you use this move to evade from your opponent. Your enemy will have a hard time tailing you at such high speed. Your thrust should be manipulated in the same fashion as during Immelman turn, first reduce it by a third, then max it out. Reinversement. Reinversement is a solid attack maneuver. It allows you to do a quick 180 degree turn. First, increase your speed, then climb at 60 degrees. When you reach the stall speed, use your rudder to turn. If your plane is attempting to drop into its back, then hold your negative pitch key, the shift key. When your aircraft turns first 90 degrees, cut your engine to a minimum as you finish your turn, then enter a dive at 60 to 80 degrees. For a better flight stability, you can also extend your flaps to landing position at the highest point of a maneuver. We do not recommend doing this move while playing arcade mode. While turning, your plane will be almost immobile at the highest point of the turn, and anyone half good with his lead marker will easily down you as you finish your maneuver. Hammerhead. Now finally, we have the hammerhead maneuver. This one is rather tricky and dangerous because your plane stalling in mid-air is an ideal target for your enemies. You should only perform it if your opponent is stalling himself, then you need to quickly turn your aircraft nose down and open fire. By the way, this move is actually quite spectacular looking too. You need to keep your plane's nose as vertical as possible, then when your speed is low enough for you to stall, you reduce your thrust to about 50 or 60%. Then, you turn your aircraft down using your rudder, Q and E keys. At last, you max out your engine thrust. More importantly, do not allow your plane to stall into its back or belly. Always keep it in control using your pitch. Just as during the reinforcement, you can extend your flaps for better stability at the highest point of the maneuver. This is yet another move that is extremely dangerous to pull in arcade. You become an ideal target even for an average pilot. But if you prefer to play realistic battles and man-on-man -man duels, this maneuver will not only save your own life, but will also deliver a nasty surprise to your enemy. Well, this is it for the aerobatic and combat maneuvers. Good luck in the skies!